Called me old fashioned, but I don't like the thought of you so close to the front. It was no place for a woman. I'm a fully qualified nurse, Frank. This is where I should be. Well, if I had my way, you'd be in a beautiful palace. A palace? Mm -hmm. I've always rather fancied myself in a palace. Alice Ross King starts off as a young woman, ready to face the world, fearless and strong. She enters nursing with full confidence and assurance, and she's an incredible nurse. The journey that she goes on tests who she really is, and the core of who she really is shines through at the end of this story. And I think that the war and the circumstances and the events that unfold highlight her true humanity and shows how much she really is a hero. The injuries to your legs are very serious. Um, so serious, Major Spring has decided that the only option is amputation. But this surgery is the very best option for you. It'll stop the spread of infection and give you a good chance of recovery. Chuck? Do you understand what I've told you? Alice is a very passionate person, so the opportunity was big and mysterious, and I think she kind of grabbed onto it. And knew deep down that she had the power to be a great nurse. She was already a fantastic nurse. I mean, she was acting matron at the Alfred at 23 but she, she had it in her to, I guess, save the world just as much as the boys had the ability to save the country and to win. Step, step. Ready, step, ready, step, ready. Over here. I feel an immense amount of responsibility to play Alice. First and foremost, because she's a real person, the fact that they're in the war and the fact that, that, that she's won a military medal and the fact that what they were doing was honouring the country and honouring the men. and It's an honour to play them because I feel like I'm giving back to the people who essentially fought for my freedom. I present it to you now with my heartiest congratulations.